like all the caves are white Mm-hmm. like a fountain I see a fountain like a like a white fountain oh, and uh there's water mm-hmm. and tell me more it's like quiet and dark mm-hmm. but like dark water bluish water mm-hmm. and fountains and it's quiet and it's white, white all over. <sighs> so mm-hmm. And I go here mm-hmm. a lot. So let's explore this place and tell me what else is there. Where is this place? Mm-hmm. Trust your first impression. Where do you imagine this place to be? It's in the cave. Mm-hmm. And where is this cave? This is underground? Mm. Mm. No, it's not underground. Mm-hmm. Where is it? It's like pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Very good. And like that, where it's in the middle of nowhere. So now that you're in this cave, let's explore this cave, cave even more. Let's walk around in this cave and tell me what you see. Tell me everything around you. I cold. Mm-hmm. I see. I don't know why. It's just cold. And it's cold. Cold. I see oh, gold, gold. Like okay. bars of gold and flowers. Mm-hmm. What kind of flowers do you see? Are these flowers that you're familiar with? Yes. Um. It's a flower that I saw when I was walking across the road, mm-hmm. and it was really random, just yellowish flower. And so I don't know, I just tell me more about this place. You say you saw bars of gold. Um, what else is there? Mm. Just like not, it's just not a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, okay, like nuggets of gold. Nuggets of gold. Mm-hmm. And are these nuggets something that it has the, the stone around it still? Or is it all just all nuggets? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And who do you think these these nuggets belong to? Trust your first impression. It's just, it showed, I feel like these nuggets of gold represents prosperity. Mm-hmm. I feel like I n- needed to know that mm-hmm. I'm always rich, mm-hmm. but not like in a financial sense, but like in a very internal sense. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this cave represents me, like my inner psyche. And I feel like the, I needed to see these gold nuggets to remind myself that that I'm gold and mm-hmm. it sounds weird to say but mm-hmm. you're precious precious gold mm-hmm. and what about the flowers it's just a reminder that the path that I'm walking mm-hmm. <sighs> sorry I'm getting emotional right now get emotional that's what you're here for the flower represents some I was walk- I was crossing the road and I saw this flower and I wanted to pick it up but I couldn't because of traffic or whatever. I wish I could have picked it up, but I feel like this flower represents me or a reminder of my beauty. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. How does that make you feel? Feel sad a little bit because of there was only one flower in the road, so I feel like I was alone in this road in this path. Mm-hmm. And now I feel I don't know how many flowers are there now. It's like a bouquet of flowers. Mm-hmm. There's plenty. I feel like this cave has a lot, of, like a plenty, like a lot of places. Mm-hmm. 
So no, not only are you prosperous, but you're beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what else is in this cave. Look around you. What else do you see? I feel I need to focus more on the fountain. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the fountain. What kind of fountain is it? It's white mm -hmm. and it's, there's a lot of water flowing and there's pennies inside mm -hmm. and the water's water is calming. I feel like the cave is just dark, but it's not dark. Mm -hmm. And overflowing water. So what are you getting from this water? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? The water represents like it feels nurturing mm -hmm. and it feels like it represents like me, like my emotions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like it represents, like it's not negative, it's not a bad thing, me being emotional. Mm -hmm. It's ever flowing. Yes, ever flowing, that's the right word. Mm -hmm. So as this fountain flows, how does it feel? Feels very good. Mm -hmm. Feels like calming. Like that's my real emotions calming. Mm -hmm. And when others see this fountain, how does it make them feel? Excuse me, sorry. When someone else sees this fountain of your emotions, well, I feel like people are not paying attention mm -hmm. completely. Mm -hmm. I feel like children in general, you ever see children play in the fountain, mm -hmm. playfully splashing the water because mm -hmm. they they love how the water is flowing. But I feel like adults just like look at it from an outside way. Mm -hmm. They don't really like really play with it. Like they don't really, I don't know, I can't. It's like they're almost more focusing on the, the structure of the mm -hmm. fountain instead of the actual movement that the purpose of the fountain mm -hmm. and what about the, the pennies in there let's focus on the pennies what do the pennies represent um i feel like when people throw pennies i feel they're offering something to the fountain mm -hmm. and i feel like It's forgetful though. Like people throw pennies and they kind of forget about it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I feel like these pennies represent every aspect of my experience. Oh, I feel like it's deep in there. Mm -hmm. Let's dive in there and see what happens. Allow yourself to just dive in there. There's a lot of pennies. Mm -hmm. And each of them represents a connection I have with everyone. The connection I have with everyone. How does that make you feel knowing that? It makes me feel like I really hold on deeply into these, to these pennies. I don't feel like I'm I can't let it go because every person is every person has these pennies. Mm -hmm. Some of them are more important, like nickels and quarters. There's, but then there's pennies. So like there's connections I have with people that are very brief and there's connections that I have that are very deep and they're deep inside in this fountain. I'm sorry, I'm being emotional. No, I need you for you to be emotional. That's how you get this information out. 
Tell me everything you're feeling. Mm -hmm. I hold on to these pennies. I hold on to them. Mm -hmm. I hold on to these every aspect, every experience I have with everyone. And I nurtured them in a way with the water, the, the, the fountain. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just. Is this beneficial to you? To yes. hold on to it? Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't let people go. Mm -hmm. I won't. Tell me more. What else are you getting from this? I don't know. I have a thought of love. Just love and like cherishing every every experience. These pennies represents the peak the person and so I need to cherish them. Mm -hmm. It's kinda like memories. They're like memories. Mm -hmm. But like memories that I can nurture. Do you see anything in this fountain that's not pennies? Mm -hmm. No. So you've only held on to things that are valuable. Yes. To you. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that anybody has ever thrown something in this fountain that didn't belong there? Look. I feel like there's people that were in my life that threw in things that I don't need mm -hmm. from them and I don't like there's connections I have with others that were very very brief and mm, I don't know why I keep thinking these girls in elementary school um, they were Practic they're like they weren't really bullies but they really judged me mm -hmm. for not being like their way like culturally mm -hmm. and I felt like it was kind of like the beginning where I realized that I was really alone I, I keep think I just I'm having flashes of memories mm -hmm. tell me what's going on when I was eight years old or I think it was eight eight nine mm-hmm um, my side was hurting really, really bad. I had to go to the hospital. All right. See yourself there. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Mm. Where are you? In the emergency room. All right. Tell me what's happening. I have to wait mm -hmm. for an hour. Mm -hmm. My mom think? and my sister was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I remember just feeling pain, intense pain, mm -hmm. and dread. I felt like I was, it was cold there, and just too many people. There there were a lot of people, there were just a few people. I remember watching the TV, mm -hmm. and it's like being called to the house. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking there, and I remember. So what did you do with that pain? He took the doctor put a needle in the butt in the buttocks, mm -hmm. and it hurt really bad. Mm -hmm. I feel like that night, I really felt really fragile. Like I really experienced my first time. I experienced my body um, being fragile. I feel like it was my first time. Mm -hmm. Realizing that my body is weak. Mm -hmm. So let's see if anything happened that night. I'm going to use my hand as a light and I'm going to pass it over your body. And as I do, your bright light should be illuminating all through your body. And when I go by an area that has a shadow or any darkness, you let me know. Tell me where 
there's any darkness there. Where do you see the shadow? I feel like it's in the right. Wait. I feel like it's in my rib area. Mm -hmm. So let's bring that energy up. Allow that energy to come up, 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 and allow it to express itself. Good evening. Are you male or female energy? Female. Male. How long have you been there with Mary? Since she was six years old. What happened that allowed you to connect with her? Mm. Water. Mom, the mother poured water on her. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't breathe. For a moment, mm -hmm. she poured water in her cup because she thought she was pulling her sister's hair. So, as a punishment, she poured water. She couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. So, how did you connect with her? Did she call for you? No. I just came to her. Mm -hmm. And what is your name? What can I call you? Can I call you water? Yes. All right, water. Water, when you had a body the last time, where did you live? Do you recall where you were? Was it in America? Or was it elsewhere? Think back when you had a body. You were male? Yes. How old are you? I'm young. Mm -hmm. How old? Mm. 18. 18. So how did you lose your body water? Drowned. You drowned. Mm -hmm. Were you swimming? Mm. Uh, I was swimming under a bridge. Mm -hmm. And what happened? I felt like I caught myself. Something caught me and I got stuck under. Mm -hmm. And you drowned? Yes. What happened after you left your body? Where did you go? I didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you go to the light? Back home? Because it's not time. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I was ready to go. Mm -hmm. Were you scared? Yes, because it was sudden. Mm -hmm. So, when Mary felt like she was drowning. Yes, I came to her. Because mm -hmm. I, I can relate to her, that suddenness. Mm -hmm. And what have you done to Mary all this time? What symptoms does she feel of you? Feeling like she's drowning. Mm-hmm. In life, she's drowning. You call she's it drowning, that? yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Do you have anything to do with the fear of death? Mm. I made her fear more of death when she almost drowned. Mm -hmm. Her mother and her were in the pool, going to the pool. Mm -hmm. And she almost got caught, mm -hmm. drowned. 
Were you there? Yes. And what did you make her feel? Scared. Mm -hmm. Did you make her feel like she was going to die? Yes, I want her to feel that. Why do you want her to feel that? Because I hate her. I hate how her. I hate her. Why do you hate her, Water? Because she has potential to rise above it. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to rise above the waters. Mm -hmm. Is that because you're angry that you didn't get to live? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Water, that's not a very good way to evolve your spirit by hating someone else and, att and attaching yourself to them. Her mom loves her. Mm -hmm. But I don't want her to know that. Why is that? I don't know. I just don't want her to. So I remind her of death. Mm -hmm. So she won't be reminded of love. Mm. So when she thinks of her mom? Love, she feels life. Even in moments, her mother loves her, and I don't want her to know. That Do you also affect her relationship with her sister? No. Okay, just with her mother? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else do you do to her? I make her feel like she's suffocating. Like, like drowning, but also suffocating. Mm -hmm. Do you make her feel heavy also? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like she's drowning like I did. Mm -hmm. Like walking through mud? No. No? Just drowning? Heaviness. Heaviness. Her body feels heavy. What else do you make her feel? Seems like you're very proud of what you've done. I don't want her to feel peace. Why is that? Because if she feels peace, she'll feel light mm -hmm. instead of heaviness. Mm -hmm. And how will that affect you? I'll go crazy. You'll go crazy? Why will you go crazy? Because she's not like here. She's not with me. She's feel light. I'm here and heavy. I'm alone. Mm. So I need her to stay with me and heaviness. So I won't be alone. You need her to be in the same vibration as yes. you? Yes. Mm -hmm. She will never find peace. I want her to know that she wasn't afraid and I was terrified. Are you the one who made her feel scared when she was doing astral projections? Are you the one that made There's her others. Oh, okay. There's others who helped mm -hmm. contribute, but I Jeff was there to remind her. Mm -hmm. So she, she felt heaviness when she doesn't feel peace. Mm -hmm. Did you know her from a different lifetime? Have you known each other before? I want you to think back. Do you have anything in common with her from a different life? A different dimension. <sighs> Have you known each other before? <sighs> you could be honest with me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Heaviness. Mm hmm. Is that the. I don't know. Keep thinking of the Victorian age. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me what happened in the Victorian age. How did you know Mary? I don't know her completely. Mm -hmm. I remember her love. Mm -hmm. And I was infatuated. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be with her. But she was not heavy at the time. And she was light. Mm -hmm. Who were you to her? Uh, there's, there's, uh, I don't know, we were in different, different social classes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was she a higher class than you? Yes. 
Did you work for her? Mm. No. No? But you were infatuated with yes. her. Yes. So what did she you... had a light. She had a light. And what about you? I don't know. I don't know who I was. I don't mm. know who I am. Mm -hmm. But you were infatuated with her. Light. And you followed her into this life. You found her again, didn't you? Oh. I feel like I could relate to her again. When her mother poured water on her mm -hmm. and felt suffocated, I felt like it was my chance. It was a chance to get back to her, right? Mm -hmm. And attach to her. Yes. And this way you could love her in your own demented way, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that why you told her she'll never find peace? Yes, because I, I don't want to leave. I don't want her to leave me. Mm-hmm. But when she did her astral travel and she found you, yes. is that you who she found? Yes. And she gave you what instead? Love. Mm -hmm. And how did that make you feel? Aggravated. I didn't understand why she wasn't scared this time. Mm -hmm. How did that love feel? Water? She was coming on to me it was very strong mm -hmm. how did that make you feel I don't know I don't know what to feel when I felt this love mm -hmm. it was new mm -hmm. did it feel good yes mm -hmm. water would you like to feel that again would you like to know yes. what it feels like what I want you to do is look inside of yourself and I want you to find that spark of light. Everyone has it. I want you to focus on that light. Can you see it? Yes. I want you to expand that light. Expand it to where it takes over your entire essence. And tell me what that light feels like. Like a star. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Mm. Do you feel good? You don't feel heavy anymore, do you? Nope. Mm -hmm. so uh, she's. I feel like she's reminding me to be a star. Mm -hmm. You are a star. Are you ready to go home to where all the stars are? Yes. All right. I'm going to ask the angels of the white light to come help you, surround you. And now, water, what would you like me to call you now that you have transformed into a star. What name would you like me to give you? Eric. Eric. Very good, Eric. So, Eric, I'm asking the angels of the lights to surround you. Feel their love around you. Feel them encircling you, caressing you. Do you feel their love? They always were with me. Mm. You just weren't at that vibration. Mm -hmm. So now, Eric, I want you to go inside of her body and take all of the influence that you have attached to her. And Mary, I want you to look inside and tell me what it looks like inside where Eric has attached to you. In my stomach. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Like plugs. Mm -hmm. So I want you to... Like, you like, like sink. Like a sink. <laughs> like mm -hmm. a sink. Like mm -hmm. a plug. Like right. you, you drain water from the bath. All right. It's like draining out. Wonderful. So I want you to use whatever tool you need to take all of that influence out from the inside. What are you using to drain that water? I'm visualizing the water being drained out. Very good. And tell me when it's all gone. Okay. All right. Yes. So let me speak with Eric now. Eric, I want you to go ahead and remove all the all the attachment that you have to her. And I want you to go ahead and come out through the top of her head right here. And I want Archangel Michael to accompany you and the angels of the white light and go on up to the white light and tell me who's there to greet you.
a cane for a pet dog. Mm. Do you wag his tail? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give him a hug. Mm. He's been waiting for you, hasn't he, Eric? Yes. Very good. Eric, may the light of the universe accompany you always. Thank you very much. I know you could have shown Mary, Mary many different things today. How did you show her that cave? There's possibilities mm -hmm. within herself. She has to go within. Do you realize how illuminating she is to the world? Mm -hmm. Tell her about it. This is your chance to tell her. There is so much you could do for others. One step at a time. One step at a time. The relationships, friendships, we will become meaningful one step at a time. You built. You built one on one, one on one. You built one on one. There were a lot of pennies. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the pennies illuminate in the water. Each person illuminates you. And you illuminate them. Eric has always wanted to feel illuminated and you give him that mm -hmm. feeling that he can illuminate the world. So now that Eric is gone, how has that changed her life? She needs to stop taking the heaviness from others and help them learn how to illuminate. Mm -hmm. Tell her how. She needs to eliminate herself. She needs to eliminate. She needs to know she can eliminate that she eliminates others. She's bright like a star. Mm -hmm. She looked at the stars when she was young because I remind her that she is that star when she rides her bike home in the dark and she looked at the stars. That's her. Is that where she comes from? Yes. She comes from the stars? Yes. What's her soul name? Does she have one? Fionn. Fionn. Fionn? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that male or female? Female. Fiona. Fiona. Sometimes she likes being Fiona. Mm -hmm. Fiona. And what was the purpose of this star coming to Earth? To illuminate. Mm -hmm. In the dark. And there's many in the dark. She was in the dark for a long time. She is in the dark right now, but she isn't of the darkness. Mm -hmm. She's not of the heaviness. She's not of it. Why did you, she choose such a challenging life this time? She tends to forget that there are others who need light. She needs to be reminded of the heaviness of others, people. She has friends who will tell her things that are heavy. She needs to be reminded that others are going through heavy situations, but she doesn't need to take on the heaviness. She just needs to illuminate, to remind others to illuminate themselves 
so they can perhaps release their baggage if they need to. Others don't release their baggage. And it makes Mary upset. She wants people to be light. Mm -hmm. She wants people to feel light again. Mm -hmm. She wants the humans to feel light. She wants to remind others of their lightness, that they're not in the dark. She's beautiful. Now you say that she's a star. Has she ever been an angel? She has. She's an angel. Mm -hmm. But it's not what you think. Tell me. Her purpose is to understand the human conditioning Angels don't need wings to fly. Mm -hmm. She can be both. She can be an angel in the heavens or on the earth. She doesn't need to be in heaven to be an angel. She can be here and be an angel. But she doesn't need to take on the burdens of others. Angels. What they do is they give love and they sit and they are surrounded by others and they hold them completely. Mary's supposed to do this. Fiona. But she keeps herself away from others. Mm. She is overwhelmed with everything, with everyone. She tends to take on things too much, one step at a time. Take it one step at a time. Doesn't need to take all of it at once. Mm -hmm. Does she have any more of these entities attached to her? Holding her down. Mm. They surround her, mm -hmm. but they can't go close to her. Good. They they want her, but they can't have her. Mm -hmm. She knows this. She knows that she's too powerful. So what happened to her that night? What caused Eric to attack her? Mary, you know what happened. You were in a place of self-doubt, anguish, and you gave yourself this experience. When you're deep in heaviness, you can allow others to get she allows others to bring her down even more mm -hmm. she tends to lay down and get depressed in her bed she thinks about things that she's not supposed to think about that are negative and so other entities will watch and then find an opening to drag her down like Eric did. Mm -hmm. Now he's gone. So can you fill her with light now where Eric was so that we don't have any spaces to be filled? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. And can you look and see if her aura has any any leaks? Any areas where they can come in? She needs to be careful what she eats. Mm -hmm. Tell her about that. Heavy foods mm. give makes her heavy. Heavy anything that involves heavy activity makes her more heavy. What do you mean by heavy activity? She will push herself too much to. She rides her bike a lot, and I watch her ride her bike, and she's head. She, she pedals too much, <laughs> and she's. 
Uh, tell her to slow down one step at a time. Mm -hmm. She's a light being. Light being. She thinks she's a light. So maybe that's why she pushes herself so hard. So can we get some guides to help her on that? To remind her. Mm -hmm. And I want Mary to know that you're doing good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. And she's scared, but she can handle it. She she knows. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her about her relationship with her mother? Why? Why does she have this relationship? And can it be healed? Unfortunately, there's not much she can do with her mother. But one thing she can do is leave. Mm -hmm. And she knows this. Leave home. And her mother will understand that her daughters are grown up. Her mother is scared of her daughter getting hurt by others in this in the real world. Mm -hmm. In the real world, she doesn't want her to make friends. So her mother has been sabotaging her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her mother told her one time, you're not going to make friends. She believed it. Yes. Can we take that programming out today? Mm hmm Yes. All right. Let's rewire her so that she doesn't have that anymore as part of her programming. Mm, it's like a tape. Mm -hmm. Let's break that tape. I'm rewinding it. Mm -hmm. and snap. Uh, yes. Snapped it. So she won't replay that in her mind. Excellent. Is there any other strange tape like that that she's playing? She's beautiful, but she doesn't think she's beautiful. So mm -hmm. I want her to know she is beautiful inside and out. Mm -hmm. And she should try modeling. Can we put a mirror up to her so she can really see who she is? Yes. Put a mirror up to her. Spiritual mirror so she can see her reflection. She sees herself. Mm hmm What is she seeing? Eyes illuminating. Lips. Mm. She needs to stop focusing on her flaws. Mm. Hair. Good, beautiful hair. Good body. Good soul. Beautiful soul. Beautiful radiant. Yeah. So keep that mirror up in her mind so that she can burn it in yeah yes mm -hmm. so she, when she thinks about herself and sees herself she sees that image instead of the other one thank you so much mm -hmm. oh, she's so beautiful <sighs> what about her sister she has a very close relationship with her she wants to know in a spiritual context what role she plays in her life and why is she her, her caregiver. My sister is going to teach me to take on responsibilities that are meaningful instead of taking in responsibilities that could cause burden. I feel like herself is telling me to carry things that have meaning. Did they know each other in different lifetimes? Spiritually, yes. Mm -hmm. Who were they? Your sister was, she conducts the life experiences and her sister follows through. So her sister is more of a manager 
and her sister is kind of like an employee. So it's kind of like her sister tells her what she needs to experience. Mm -hmm. And if her sister agrees with it, she'll go through it. And spiritually. Mm -hmm. Her sister is the one that suggested to have this experience. She was the one that decided, hey, let's, let's do this. Why did she choose to be disabled, though? Because she needs to... Her sister chose to be disabled to feel herself more on a spiritual level. Because she keeps identifying herself with her body. Mm -hmm. And she needs to stop. Do you have a message for her sister today? You're doing well loving your sister. You're doing well loving others. And all you can do is love. You have done really well. Good. She had a question about her fear of death, and we talked to Eric about that. But she's also scared of her sister dying young. Why does she have that fear? I told her many times that's not her age. Mm -hmm. of death it just came up during the experience the experience was too much for her and in a way I crave this to scare her off a little bit to stay off of ayahuasca for a bit mm -hmm. I crave this to make sure that she stopped drinking for a while because she could have gone back again if she had good experiences mm -hmm. she keeps running away from home to take ayahuasca and I, I always I will encourage her to do it one time and that's it. But she can't she went back and I was disappointed. She should have stopped for now, at least. What is that ayahuasca doing to her now in subsequent visits? I told her, and she knows this, that she feels more separated from her soul and her body. She takes too much ayahuasca. She won't be more. She needs to be more connected with her human self. If she takes ayahuasca. She's she's out there, and she's not supposed to be out there. I told her to stop, and she would not listen to me. She was not supposed to spend money to go there. She was supposed to actually go see you. I encouraged her to see you, but she won't listen. So she just so she decided to go to Peru, but it was an escape. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you want her seeing me? I, I want I want her to learn to be here with technique. I want to I wanted you to teach her techniques to be in this state. Mm -hmm. Instead of taking a substance, she doesn't need ayahuasca mm -hmm. or mushrooms or any other substance she needs to she needs to teach herself to put her in a hypnosis state mm -hmm. and I encouraged her to be taught that way good so at the end of this session when we're done with the questioning we'll do a little technique to trigger her back into this beautiful state again yes very good thank you will she be able to make friends now if you think something is wrong with her mm-hmm there is something wrong, and that is she doesn't believe in herself to mm -hmm. make friends. She needs to understand that there are people who are ready to be friends, and there's people who are not ready. And she needs to trust her instincts so she won't waste time with those who are not ready to be friends with her. And trust her instincts to be with those who are ready to be friends with her. There's people who are ready to give, and there's people who are not ready to give. There's people who are ready to receive from her, and there's others who are not ready to receive from her. And she needs to learn to differentiate the difference. Some people are not ready to receive her as a whole. And she knows this. She needs to learn to trust her judgment of the people she meets. But she wants to be loved so much by other people 
when she, when she needs that so badly, she loses track and she would end up with the wrong people. Mm -hmm. She's done that before. Yes. Mm -hmm. What was that experience for? What did she have that experience? She needs to learn that people change and she can't control how people think of her or the relationship as a whole. Some people want to move forward because they know they can't give any more to her. Uh, was that the case? That he changed? Okay. That he changed? Yes. Mm -hmm. And right now she's entertaining a relationship, a friendship. Is that helping her understand friends a little bit more? Yes. Very she good. sees it in the... I love when she learns astrology because mm -hmm. she learns more about the person and the chart shows that mm. and she knows that it's friendship mm -hmm. she needed that yes so he she needs it too they both need friends he needs to feel connected again and mm -hmm. she's helping him feel that mm. have anything else to say about that relationship Yes, and I want to say that he has learned so much about himself so far in a good way. Mm -hmm. Because of the way she opens herself up? Yes. What, what would you like to tell her about this YouTube channel? Keep going and create videos that relates to your human experiences. People relate that more, relate to that more than the spiritual stuff. Mm -hmm. Some people lose faith easily. Right. So it's hard for them to relate to the spiritual. But if she talks more of her human experiences, people will have faith again to move forward from that. Wonderful. She has a lot of heaviness or she had a lot of heaviness she says she wants a better relationship with herself is this mirror image going to help her yes any other tools that we need to use today surround herself with water mm -hmm. she needs to connect more with nature because nature mirrors her back herself mm -hmm. now she says that she's thinking of moving is that a good move for her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she knows it but she needs to know that she needs to start from the bottom okay before she can put herself up feel herself to a better she she needs she needs to understand that it may not be perfect the, the environment she may be living in is not going to be perfect, but it will still be safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she has to start modestly. Yes. Okay. Should she also aim for a master's degree? Mm -hmm. In what subject? Mm. She wants to be able to support herself and her sister. Yes, she wants to support her sister, but she needs to trust that her sister will have what she needs mm. on her own, in her own in her own life. She can't take in all the responsibility. There are others who are willing to help her sister, but she doesn't believe in it. <laughs> she wants to carry that load herself? Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Is that why her shoulders feel so heavy? Yes. Mm-hmm. So what career would be good for her? Teaching, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. And she needs to just slow down before she jumps into a program. 
In what way? She needs to explore. She needs to talk to people and hear them out. She needs to talk to those who have already been in the field mm -hmm. before making a decision. So don't jump into something without yeah. first yes. checking it out. Mm -hmm. Could I ask uh, for guides to help her on this? Hire some guides that will give her some uh, assistance in planning for her education and planning for her financial wealth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. She's asking about her hip. What's going on there with her left leg? Her leg is giving out mm -hmm. and she needs surgery. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that we can begin doing today? I know that the higher self and that all of the angels and the spiritual doctors can heal anything. Can we call them in today yes. and begin that process? Yes. Okay, so tell me who is assisting here today? There's two angels. Mm -hmm. mm. What is their what are their expertise? What's the expertise? Mm, smoothing mm. Their job is to help her slow down. Ah, okay. Because that's the reason why she's having pain is that she won't slow down. Okay. She won't slow down. She Angels are supposed to slow her down, but she won't listen. And that's why she has a lot of pain. She walks too much. She does. She pushes herself to beyond limit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Relaxing her body helps the pain to sure. subside. Uh, what kind of relaxation do you recommend? Breathing. Mm -hmm. Like we did today. Yes. Mm -hmm. So would you do a scan on her body and see what we can do today to start that healing? Let's see. Can we work some miracles here so we don't need that surgery? Mm -mm -mm. She needs that. Okay, so let's let's make it an easier surgery. She needs ice. Mm-hmm. She needs to put her feet in water, her leg in water. Cold or hot water? Warm. Mm -hmm. She needs to slow down. That's the biggest thing she needs to understand. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend maybe salt baths or things like that? Yes, and she knows, mm -hmm. she knows what to do, but she just doesn't listen enough to herself. She doesn't do what she needs to do. She thinks about it, but she doesn't do. <laughs> so can we remind her of that today? Yes. All right. Let's start working on her legs so that we can we can begin some healing. Mm -hmm. So that when she does need the surgery, it's minor. Yes, it will be fine. Excellent. Very good. Why does she have heart palpitations and chest pains? Her sister, her weight, mm -hmm. when she carries her sister, her chest is tightened. Mm -hmm. So she needs to carry her sister differently. Okay, how do you recommend that? Stretching. Mm -hmm. Sometimes stretching can help open up mm -hmm. the chest area. And she needs to eat more because the body. I don't want her to eat heavy foods, but she needs to eat more. What kind of foods should she be eating? Uh, more fruits like mango, something. Colorful food helps her more be active. Colorful fruits? Yes. Foods. Yes. 
Any type of fruits. Yes, it, as long as color. Mm. So greens, orange, yellows. Yes. Red. Mm -hmm. Mango. Mm -hmm. mm. And and it could be fruits or vegetables. Uh, what do you recommend for her body? Love and <laughs> wine. She needs to love her body. Love her body. Mm -hmm. So she can... choose what foods to eat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it really all starts in the head, in the mind. Mm -hmm. Can we hire a guide today? Yeah, we'll help her with that. Mm -hmm. Help her with her choices of food, with her ability to cook. Yes. Flavorful, wonderful, nutritious meals mm -hmm. to make her stronger. Yes. Very good. And then the heart palpitations, this is all about this. There's something heavy. When she is upset, she carries the heaviness in her chest. Mm -hmm. the, the pain goes to her chest. Okay. And she needs to release her body. She needs to release it. Is that something that we can do today? Mm -hmm. Have those heart palpitations, are they caused by any type of thought forms or any type of entities? What is causing those heart palpitations? The weather can sometimes affect her body. The weather. Mm -hmm. The cold can affect her body. Okay. And, her, and the warmth. She likes to be warm, so she needs to warm herself up more. So she will have heart palpitation. Okay, so be in the sun more? Warm water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How does she deal with all of her sadness? She locks it in. Mm -hmm. Inside deep. Mm -hmm. She needs to let it go. All right, can we create something today, a valve where she can release this sadness? Yes. All right. So let's find somewhere in her body that she can envision a valve, something like maybe a faucet that she can open up and allow all of this heaviness and sadness to come out. Tell her what it looks like and where it would be. In the middle of her, the upper right. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So allow her to see that faucet with a knob. And Mary, I want you to turn that faucet mm -hmm. and start allowing all of that sadness to be released. Have it go down a drain. Have it pour out. Uh, like feels clogged a little mm -hmm. bit. All right, so let's take that clog. Where is the clog? It's clogged. Mm -hmm. um, I need to get rid of this. Mm -hmm. I want you to make yourself very tiny and go in there and start clearing out that clog. Yes, it's getting out now. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So allow all of that sadness to drain out of you. Yes. You can imagine it gushing out. And as it gushes out, feel that happiness flooding back in. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's drain it all out. Help her with that. Drain it out. Okay, it's wait. Okay, there's just so much. Mm -hmm. Let's keep draining it. Let's not close it. Allow it to just keep draining out. And Mary, I want you to focus on that light inside of your chest, that white light. 
emanating from your chest. Allow that white light to fill your body with happiness. Just like we did with Eric. Feel that joy filling every single cell of your body as all of that sadness pours out of that faucet. And let me know how she's doing. Okay. Excellent. How does she feel now? Mm. Confident. She feels like she can release. Mm -hmm. She doesn't feel like she's trapped. Right. It's mm -hmm. like she can release. Mm -hmm. She can release all of it if she chooses to. Mm -hmm. So now we've given her a tool. We've given her a faucet that she could open any time. That she can release that sadness and use that white light that's the spark from the source to spread joy all over her body. She can do it on her own. Yes. Because she's an angel. Yes, she is. She knows what that spark of light is all about. Yes. She is a star. Mm -hmm. Is there any question that I could have asked today that we didn't ask? Anything you would like to tell her? It's, you know, it's the commitment you're making is good to see her and I don't want you to doubt yourself to, you know when you see people and you see how people are and you gave them the light that they need whether you know it or not you gave them the love that you need you gave them your presence and that's all all you can give to them and that's good and beautiful. That's why you came here to Miami. I know you were angry, you were doubting yourself, but you knew that you needed to be here. Continue giving that love and that illuminate because you are shining. You're a shining star. Don't doubt yourself. Don't ever doubt the decisions that you make to improve yourself. Regardless of the things you have done, even though there are some times I, I feel like you should slow down, but you still make your decisions, but I'm still proud of you. I feel like uh, <laughs> tell her what you feel. She needs to hear this over and over again. Your self-doubt can be a burden to yourself. Doubting yourself. You doubt yourself too much. Don't stop believing in yourself. If you stop believing, you become a burden to the world. And I'm not saying in this in a negative sense. The world right now needs your light, your lightness, your light.
I feel you more connected to me now. Don't doubt it. I'm closer to you than you think. I've been with you for me ever. I've been with you since the beginning of time. I've, we all have been with you since the beginning. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Thank you very much. Since you've been such a help to Mary, Fiona, do you have any suggestions or recommendations for me today? Mary was happy when you shared your human experiences. She related to that more than the spiritual aspect. So if you share yourself, your, your personal experiences a bit more to others so they can relax. Mm -hmm. You taught Mary that. You taught Mary to tell, tell her story without being, without drowning in it, in the story. Sometimes people are not able to tell their stories because they are so deep into it, they can't find a light. Mary can do it, she can find a light and tell her story with confidence, with love. So you taught her that. So share more of your experiences, human experiences, your story, like you shared about your sister, which Mary relates to. Hmm. She's gonna hold on to that story. <laughs> Cause yeah. So share more of that, just mm. your human, your human self a little bit more. We're all human. Human experience is also a very spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. If we allow it to be, it's not a burden. It doesn't need to be a burden. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you so much for all of the information you've given Mary today and me. I know she's really going to appreciate it. Hi, my name is Alba Weinman, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want a session with me here in Miami, you can go to my website, albaweinman.com, and just look at my calendar and see what's convenient for you and sign up. I also travel around the United States, so if you'd like to uh, maybe see me in uh, your hometown or around, uh, you can look on my Out of Town tab and see where I'll be going to next. You can also sign up to my mailing list, and I'll be sending out information as to where I'm traveling. So until the next time, see you soon. Bye.